I'd say there's two important trends uh, that you can see here in South Florida. One is an influx of people generally, and second is an influx of people in the finance and kind of tech ecosystem. So there's a lot of new business formation. Uh, I think Florida has three million new businesses, employs 40% of people in small business, and I think is third in the nation for per capita business formation. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunity here. Some of the business issues that, that we have are, you know, how do you find the, the, the best companies out there that have the most innovative products um, and, and make sure that you can help them. So as a venture capital firm, you make the investment, but then you also make introductions. Uh, you try to help them with all the things that they're going to need to be successful, and that's really the, the, the point of the business. What is drawing businesses to Southern Florida, South Florida? Well, aside from the sunny climate, uh, I mean, there are all kinds of business incentives. The tax environment is pretty good, and there's, there's a critical mass of people who are, who are coming down here. If you walk around the streets here in West Palm Beach, you'll see you know, new restaurants, you'll see shiny new skyscrapers, and you'll see you know, Wall Street people who are here. So I think it's, uh, there's, there's a critical mass that's coming here. Well, is there something you want to tell me that I haven't asked you? Um, well, I'll tell you about 1909. So um, you know, when I first came into the space, it's such a great community of not just founders, but also invest investors, community leaders. Uh, and I was impressed enough with the space that I'm actually taking office space here and putting some of my, my, uh, my activities here. Um, what, can you speak to the mentoring that goes on here? Yeah, so um, the mentoring takes several different forms. I mean, they're, they're everything from nights when, you know, very successful entrepreneurs who've had exits will come in and speak to the group about their experiences. There's also days where people come together with all their various skill sets and kind of do an exchange. Um, you know, if you're good at, you know, uh, marketing and somebody else is good at finance, they'll, they'll kind of do that exchange. And then there's the one-on-one -on -one mentoring that happens. Uh, you know, some of the other folks who are um, in this interview series this morning and I have sit down and, you know, they can tell me about their business. I can tell them about, you know, what kind of things I've seen be successful in pitches that other people have done. So it takes many different forms. Can you speak to, like, expand on, like, my experience, my skill set is in integrated marketing, right? but I have no idea about finance. What is it about being in a, an environment like this where you can sort of tap into those other professionals that you may not have a skill set in? Okay, so a good example of that will be, as I've mentioned, I have invested in 50 um, small businesses, but I've probably seen 4,000. So I've seen uh, many, many pitches, right? I've gone to many demo days. I'm part of a bunch of different networks. And so I can recognize what um, you know, if, if some of these startups are looking to approach other investors, what are successful techniques um, to basically exp explain their business in the best possible way and also invite the most positive and constructive feedback? Uh, and I can tell you simple exchanges that happen. You know, I have no experience in the kind of marketing or PR space, and people here have been very kind to me and said, here, let me help you with your website, let me help you with your social media presence, things that I have no idea about.